Hey guys, welcome back to the CNJ show and I got my favorite June and Juice here and my sister Neek and we hope that you guys are having a good day today. We have this short clip coming out of Houston. You guys watch this clip and we'll be back with our comments. Name Lorenzo Smith. He's been in the boxing ever since his teenage years. Smith was at the crab station and oyster bar at around noon on Wednesday with a 29 year old female friend. She was at the restaurant to finalize her divorce from her 61 year old husband. After about a 20 minute talk that didn't go well, deputies say the husband left the restaurant, came back a short time later, and opened fire with two guns. When he returned, he shot the male that she was with multiple times and he attempted to shoot her but he missed. The husband's deadly actions came as a shock to Smith's relatives. He did talk to him yesterday and the gentleman, uh, I don't know the conversation, but when my brother got off the phone with him, he said that everything was okay, that you know the gentleman was a cool, cool guy. My brother was really like an innocent bystander. He, he was just really just trying to help. It was not his girlfriend. That's very misleading information. He was just trying to help someone. A couple of years ago, we lost our mother. He lost his wife, and now we have lost our brother. After shooting Smith, deputies say the husband shot himself in the head. This was the last restaurant that me, my sister, and my brother ate at. Okay, guys. Well, Jen, how do you well, deal with that? We have another case of a scorned lover. Yeah. I feel like so many times this case is, is over and over again. We hear these things about wives, husbands, boyfriends, girlfriends are, are just being killed left and right in these domestic disputes. And this is no different. I just feel like there should be a better way, you know, with the court system and things like that, where somebody can't elect electronically sign a divorce something where somebody doesn't have to meet them or you don't have to pay somebody to have your ex-husband or your ex-wife you know to um sign their papers i feel sweet. like it needs to be exactly or be you know whatever i feel mm -hmm. like it, we need to move with the times because too much people are getting killed behind this and you know an innocent man lost his life 44 year old boxer yeah. you know lost his life because you know behind some scorned man you know that that just came there with the idea of okay i'm just gonna kill her i'm gonna kill him and then i'm just gonna kill myself but jen you, you know what i find kind of disturbing though is because it's almost like you agreed to it it's almost like uh treachery in the building like we agree to something i'm on your side okay so i'm telling you i'm feeling right my friend it's okay we, he's just a friend. He's just going to be there. You didn't marry him, which everybody know him. He's just a boxer. You already know that. He's going to be there. And you know how you get some time. The husband is like, yeah, you know what? I'm leaving my stop. Because um, majority of the time, they be truck drivers. I'm leaving my stop. Soon as I, you know, I'm going to make my last stop, I'll be there to the bar, to the little clam, clams restaurant. And we can all sit and, you know, do whatever. Because the lady said it herself. He called and said, the man seems decent. He seems like he's a decent man. It ain't no harm. Now, somebody in their right giving mind, no. Two people is going through a divorce. Let's not, we can't, you can't have nobody else there. Like, if it ain't no family member. Sometimes the family member can be there and the person still have what they have in mind. It did not matter. I don't know when the man left. Or when, after they got off the phone, did he feel like, okay, you know what? He's a boxer. Maybe I may need to protect myself. Or my pride is gone because you just you just really made me feel lower than low. That's true. So like let me bring my gun and my intentions is already here. And that's why I said what I just said when I said because I've been watching that movie on Netflix about um, people that you know inside your own group that will betray you. So and it's like she said yeah, he said yeah. Know what's going on? He knows about it. And here it is. This man is there, saying for protection. So. Obviously, the girl had to know that this man get, could get physical. You think? I mean, I'm just saying, why Why would you do, see, do that? I, I think, yeah, I think so. And I think most marriages that are ending and stuff like that, you, you do start to see people in a way that you might have never seen them before. Yeah. You know, she's young. 
you know, she might want to just, you know, life changes. This person is like 30 years older than you. So you might be like, you're just 29. You're like just getting started. You might want to start traveling. They probably feeling like settling down. Like, well, no, I just want to be home relaxing a little bit. I don't want to be in and out no airports or, mm -hmm. you know, whatever the differences may be. But you're in two different parts of life, period, to be married. Because you're trying to play catch up and slow down. I think, honestly, and we will, too, have a um, conversation about this, too, on our next video with um, Tia, Tia Moore and the guy. They just right, split, right. and everybody yeah. is like, oh, my God. But you know what? Sometimes I, I, I'm coming to realize when you meet people and you are in your early 20s and stuff, it's a shame. But by the time you get to the 40s, it's almost like I got a new taste for something else. And I'm, I, I, we've been... Going through it forever. Everybody only see years, but they don't understand how they were growing. And right. sometimes Absolutely. we detached. It's, mm -hmm. it's, it, it doesn't work. But in this case, my personal experience would be this. Did I got to say, if someone, and I know women do this all the time, younger women do this all the time. We don't want to get somebody that's way older because we feel like the attachment and what they're going to do for us because they're going to do a bunch. And then the men feel like, listen, I got the money. I'm going to show you all of what I can pay and I can do because your age group ain't got the money. They ain't finished school yet. They can't find a good job like this yet. So I'm just calling you, hey, baby, um, get, I, don't, I don't care about yet, but just go over there to the gas station for the pump up, fill up your car for you. You know, your man at 21 ain't thinking like that just yet. Not to say that he's not. He still is in his youth, like, sort of. So it's games being played, but... 20 something and you 60 something years old that's the age of appearance right like you there's no good godly way that that should even work it mm -mm. i'm 37 and my son see, is 19 years and, old let's, and let's not get off topic here because regardless of the age because we've seen people that's the same age that the same thing happens when it, it, does, it, killed, it does right it does. so it's not this issue is not an age issue it's about like jen said in the beginning we have to update the time with the court systems and on top of money that each city makes on a regular basis every single year. You mean to tell me that somebody still have to be served in their face a paper? You know what I mean? And, and maybe I'm wrong. Maybe they. I think I, I think did that hear has to be that like, they can. Look at Dr. Dre and this girl. They had to go to the funeral. Yeah. To be able to serve him. Right, and that's craziness. That's you craziness. Know? Give these people a username and a password. They have to log in and go see and what they, they need to see. And if they don't do it within a certain amount of time, there's a warrant out for your arrest. Because we got to get this or, stuff Or going. you lose the right to anything. It's yeah. going to happen whether or not you're there. But you being involved, it gives you the opportunity to say, well, no, I'm not going to do spousal support. No, I'm not going to do this. And then for the wife, I do want this, that, and the third. You know what I mean? This is what it is. If you don't have it done by this time, because we have public libraries, we have all of these things, you need to go But he, Let me ask you something. Regardless still, but do you, do you think, and I know like we said, okay, it does not matter the age. If someone, mm -hmm. people handle relationships differently, breakups, divorces differently. You can't kind of stop their rages. They don't care about the court system, the law. And when you didn't hit that, I think you didn't did me so wrong, I'm going to try to kill you. You lose all things. None of that stuff don't matter. The police could have been standing right there. He still was going to do whatever he needed to do. My thing is, do you think it's kind of like playing a game? You're that young in your 20s and somebody's in their 60s. I There's just, no way that can it, she probably bodily wise is not working like that. She probably mm -hmm. was using him for some type of stability, mon money, somewhere it's education. Stay, she education. might have graduated recently. You know, and this is all just speculation. We right. just gotta, you know, whatever. And this is what you know we think, but it could be something where you know she's you know finally on her feet or something, and he's like, well, no, you're not gonna get away with just using me for these. You know, for this time that we were together, now that you're good, you're gonna just, you know, leave me. And I put, and I think that too. I'm not for sure, but it seemed like the man had to be there, and he's a popular boxer, and and I mean, he's got a, he looked really nice, but he also had his kids and girlfriend. They they did put that to it. Mm -hmm. but um, so maybe it could have been just a friend for a standby, making sure nothing don't happen. That it just he could have been abusive. Right, right, right. Yeah, and I do think older men with younger women are abusive because of there are, a, there's that insecurity. Yeah, yeah. And also, also controlling. 
but there's the insecurity. You know, these young guys are around, they, you know, more energy, more attractive, you know, yeah. all of these type of things. And here you are, you old, 60 years old, falling asleep in the chair. More than likely out of shape. You know what I mean? So it's just all of these things. And it's kind of like, Nikki, you what know, chair? Do not fall asleep in a chair, honey. Let's not play into no. that stereotype. No, okay. Yeah. But I'm just saying. But I mean, anybody age. I mean, no, I'm just saying, saying, yeah, but we, we're saying you're at the age, honestly, where if I had to do you anything, relaxing. yeah, and if I had to do anything and, and be anything or whatever the case was going to be, I think that for me, the older part, it wouldn't be no older than 10 years, no younger than 10. Right. But to, to go over that is is just too many complications. I would be fire hot mad mm -hmm. to, to mm -hmm. see my daughters. Mm -hmm. No. See my son, okay, you finna be turning 20 next year. You walk up in this household with a woman that's 50. That's ridiculous. I'm right. going to say what See, but that, do you that do? brings that whole thing back to about that whole rape thing. You know, it's rape at 17, but then tomorrow I turn 18 and it's not. Or that how they get in trouble, you know, she's 17 and the guy can be 20. It's a three-year difference. Right. You get what I'm saying? A two-year-old But of course, we're not going to go crazy. Yeah, we're not going to go crazy. Yeah, yeah. I feel like everything is so, the, the laws in that area is so hypocritical that I can't even. I think also it depends on the parents when they go, because it don't have to be that. It's the, it's the parents that's pushing that, well, no, because you did do that. So I don't have no understanding of yeah. that. Mm -hmm. So yeah, because we all know, it don't matter what these people say. 17, 19, 20, you do talk to those ones because there's that's not far off. But a 20 year old, my son, you you 20, you bring a 50. I'm sorry, I don't care if you how you look, yeah, you, you can look like Lisa Ray for all I care. I gotta still say, okay, your life is done, like for as far as in everything that's supposed to be going on with starting, with for starting him, things for him, it's by that time for you to start looking at either if you want to have one more child, you probably could or two. And then your grandkids. And then Child, that's even Mara Carey had them kids at 50 years old yeah, and showed them how to bury. That's yeah. what the rich people do, 50, because they, they uh movie careers are settling it down, so they, they want to do that. Yeah, anymore. but like, yeah, but that but even with that, that's their response. But listen, guys, we don't want to get too far off with this, but you know, I think it is something that where if we can teach our kids and some this goes for the um Kevin Samuels, rest in peace to him. And to so many different people that we can just let them know as well that um you know because we see it all the time young people i know that you know you can get the older people whether it's a young guy young man young woman you we know you can get the older people because we're, we're sitting here you're probably looking at your old man or your old woman and just thinking my life is over with and it's not you have to grow with the times i don't know how smart that was to bring him I wish she would have thought about it in a law way. Let me bring the police officer or maybe even one of her kin people instead of him. That did not look good yeah, at all. Yeah, that makes sense. That, yeah, that could have, he could have been drinking and just really thought about it. Maybe he thought of like, okay, you know what? I'm okay with this. And then maybe he had a drink and started saying, you know, that don't even look good. Because mm -hmm. now I already know how she is and he's 44 Mm -hmm. I'm 60. I ain't nowhere close to none of them. Right. I'm almost 62 years old, so I'm approved and show because he came there with anger and yeah, he like, don't want to lose his wife or whatever it is. But I yeah, think I it's a like, bigger issue. But I feel is, like we gotta be careful too with the you know uh, speculation of the 44. No, years. not even speculation, but it's like blaming her in terms of bringing him or bringing family because that man is a psychopath regardless of how you right. slice it. Absolutely. Yeah. What he did shouldn't have been done. Is that excuse you me? know, she could have brought, you know, uh, like you said, a police officer and the same thing would have happened. But you know, he Jen, was no, he he was but, kill himself. but yeah. at the same time now, you know, they do have still this, this thing, what is it called? Um, a passion of love, a passion, right. well, love, passion, something like that. Yeah. A passion crime. Yeah. So it could have been okay. They will too consider, even if not, just to say everybody was alive and, well, he was alive and then she's still alive. And to say, okay, with well, Mr. Smith, rest in peace to him. But if they wanted to say, okay, so you did bring a 44 year old. Y'all didn't got a divorce. She's 29. He's almost 62 years old his pride and everything was shot just just 
with that. And he already trying to pretend like you was cheating with this man anyways. So he got enraged. And he could possibly go, if he showed proof of, look at the text in this. He could be serving, go from serving life to serving maybe five years for just having a passion, a, 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 that, a crime of passion. But I think a crime of passion happens in the heat of the moment. And that would be a heat. This was my no, wife. No, you had to shut up in a bed. Yeah, like you Not, walked in on something. That would be premeditation because you had to get in your car, come back. drove there. You get what I'm saying? You had time in between to think about it. Once you have time in between to think about, okay, I'm gonna kill this guy, then that's first degree murder. It, it's premeditated murder. But it's still murder. It's gonna be a little bit, Jen, mm -hmm. in that book. Well, only they reason, only reason it's gonna be just a little bit in that because they're gonna still say, okay, you did agree to something. By the time you came back, so okay, no, I agreed to go there. I didn't expect to see that this man was gonna be there. We had a conversation, but, but see, I didn't know he was gonna you be understand there. Understand how the law works? It don't matter about what you expected or what you saw. Once you leave the scene mm -hmm. and you go get a gun right. and you drive all the way back, and they're gonna include the amount of time that it took you to leave, the amount of time it took you to come back, all of and then turn around. and walk up. They're gonna all of that is done for. You know what I mean? That's the reason why. Even much if you get into a physical altercation with somebody and you gotta go home real quick within those five minutes to go get a gun and come back That's you're still murder. you're still gonna be charged it doesn't matter you know what i mean well yeah he could have still been i i don't know he could still have been charged I but i do of, think but, that the jury probably would have said still you're gonna get trouble maybe it would be Let's talk about you got enraged out of feeling like you're old. You was taking advantage of Child, these so lawyers. No, how to yeah, don't raise my mm -hmm. yeah. He deserves you know, we it. Gotta point, I'm, I'm kind of pointing the finger this time at the court and the judicial system about having such outdated ways to serve people papers and things of that nature. Yeah. I don't feel like you need people. It shouldn't be what, well, especially with all of these different crimes and people breaking up and have to meet up. Even much of the way they have. How they have to do with the whole children's situation. The way you have to go to court for this, that, and the third. Why not have like a department where you can come drop the where kids you can drop off? Drop the kids off, like say for instance, you sign your so kids. So you should act in. like you came up with that idea. They do have well, that. Though. I, I just thought that just, just now. now. But, but you know, no, I, I just thought that just now. But they do. But they do have that where you can drop. They do have that where okay, you drop them off here in this time. But they do. But a lot of that stuff they did because guess what? Some people say, okay, I don't have a phone. We don't have a phone. This is why the police or whoever is supposed to come and serve you to, to go and say, no, you got these papers you signed. We know that, that you got them. No, ain't no games. You ain't got no phone, no computer. You ain't got no access to, to no library. You ain't got no cousins. You homeless now because y'all ain't living together. To cut all that out, we're sending our own people out. So that way we know you got it. So you can kill all that stuff. So that's, so that's, the, that's the, the way they do that. that. You got to pay an extra fee to that's have them That's what I'm saying. Served. What if you don't have... This is what I'm that saying, That comes right? out of that stuff. No, I, everybody didn't got served. We, we can't... Well, listen, guys. We're out. You guys can leave in the comments what you think about this case. Um, I personally do think, like Nick was saying, that the, the whole system has to be done differently. And Jen and Juice um, also feel that the no, same way. Not How you feel? I, I brought it up. Okay, well, I Jen, well, you feel the and same Nick way too. You feel the and piggyback off of what I said. Well, Nick, both of them feel that way. Mm -hmm. I feel like as well, understanding when you're playing with fire. I truly do feel like if you're very young. And I understand you could be attracted to older people because of how they treat you, what they may look like at the time. But when it's the distance is way too far and the age group is way, 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 way out there where this could be your dad or granddad or grandma or mom, you're playing with fire at that time because now they know that this is it. You're, the last, that you're their last stop. Last, the very last stop. That could have been her granddad. His 15 year old son could have had her. Yes, exactly. And then you, you're you putting all this stuff, doing all this stuff. Like, we just need to teach our, our kids, like, look, you can't stop attraction, but on some things, you're going to have to probably pray and do something else because you are playing with fire. You think they're going to let you go easy? You being this 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 young and they're that old and you're giving them attention because guess what? Even if they had somebody, their wife and their husbands don't want them. You you know, they don't want them. I don't know why these old men want to be with young girls anyway. You know why? Cause they, uh, cause their older women don't want them. But we're out.